Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 latest agriculture technologies. So before starting this video, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel before you go. Innovation is more important in modern agriculture than ever before. The industry as a whole is facing huge challenges, from rising costs of supplies, a shortage of labor, and changes in consumer preferences for transparency and sustainability. Number 10. See and Spray Technology and Machine Learning. Many of the cool, new technologies being made available to agriculture have a hard time finding practical applications that add value. On its face, machine learning, the ability of a computer to accumulate knowledge about an action, or a thing and begin to make decisions, on its own, would have broad applications in agriculture. And it could, but the devil is in the details. Tasks that seem relatively simple often end up having multiple layers, that add complexity in a hurry. Number 9. Internet of Things. The term the Internet of Things, IoT, has a very Silicon Valley vibe, but its potential benefit to agriculture should be clear. Essentially, it's connecting all the disparate devices we use in the field to monitor and measure the work we do, and making the information they provide fully accessible. We're already using it. We monitor fuel tank levels, soil moisture, water meters, rainfall, weather stations, irrigation pumps, and cattle biometrics today, and access the information from smartphones. These new technologies can already help improve operational planning and accelerate decision making on farms, large and small, says Paul Welberg, Director of Business Development in Agriculture at Senet. As more solutions are built and deployed, there's no doubt we'll see even more advantages develop from the IoT in agriculture. IoT has the potential of connecting literally billions of devices and things in agriculture that never had a voice before because they were typically too costly to do so, he continues. Now, with the advent of low power, wide area networks, low cost modules, and longer battery lives, we can connect affordable soil, water, plants, animals, machines, and any other objects that could provide us with valuable data insights. Number 8. Irrigation control. When it comes to employing technology that improves control and efficiency, irrigation is arguably the farthest along in the ag industry. Systems that serve up status reports on pivot performance, soil moisture sensing, weather, and other field data to mobile phones, and computers are commonplace, and providing end users with on-the-go tools to make and implement irrigation management decisions. And the future is even brighter for irrigation control. Manufacturers such as Valley and Lindsay are working on building connectivity with other types of field, sensors to help end users make more comprehensive agronomic decisions, says Nebraska farmer and irrigation expert Rorick Pullman. The fact that these manufacturers are willing to open up and be connected is really big news for agriculture. Pullman says that much more is in the works that will provide information to end users that will improve decision making both from an irrigation standpoint as well as overall agronomy. Number 7. Nitrogen Modeling. Fertilizer is still by far the biggest revenue generator for retail service providers, and has in recent years become arguably the most scrutinized input in agriculture. Along with a variety of stewardship initiatives have come commercial programs that monitor and improve nitrogen efficiency, programs that are really beginning to show their mettle. As the market continues to move away from the single fertilizer application, approach toward multiple in-season applications on an as-needed basis, nitrogen management solutions have evolved to help retailers make the best possible decisions about rates and timing to ensure the most efficient application is being made. Systems such as 360 Yield Center and Adapt N are gaining traction and providing a clear path to better nutrient efficiency. The pace of adoption of nitrogen management solutions are being driven by two things, validation and simplification, says Steve Sabulkin, SEP of Agronomic Technology Corp., which has developed Adapt N. Validation goes beyond, does it work, for the grower it means improving every step of the decision-making process, and for an ag retailer it must drive differential value to the core business. Dynamic, flexible solutions provide actionability, he says, allowing end users to understand the data and make adjustments to programs and recommendations on the fly. Number 6. Electrical Conductivity Sensing. Measuring the electrical conductivity, EC, capacity of soils is becoming an increasingly important component of any precision irrigation program. By combining the data output of currently available EC sensing products, like the backpack-mounted Geonix EM38MK2, used more prominently in permanent crop orchards, or Veris's pull-behind soil EC sensor with other layers like soil moisture and pH, 
service providers hired to optimize a grower's water usage can show a higher level of service by using the data to make more informed decisions on watering, from both the timing and quantity aspects. Zabala Vineyards, Soledad, California, is one of many wine grape growing outfits in California that deploys EC sensors throughout its vineyards to right size irrigation scheduling. Dealing with a range of soil types from sandy to basically growing grapes in a Fred Flintstone esque gravel pit, it's these data layers that allow vineyard manager Jason Melvin to tailor his irrigation schedule to each individual wine block's soil type. With those M3080 C values we like to use, that to set our plant available water metrics in real time, and we use that data to direct our soil sampling program. And all of that is used to design our irrigation system and schedules for the year, Melvin explained during our 2017 California Ag Tech Tour. Number 5. Drone Developments, The Chase for 1000. Okay, so maybe drones haven't quite taken off from an adoption standpoint in precision agriculture yet. Let me be the first to say, congratulations skeptics, hot takers, and grumpy naysayers in general. Yes, it must be admitted that scaling the technology to fit, in a way that makes the most dollars and cents, into grower-facing precision services programs down at the dealership has proven quite challenging. Still, even Sally Skeptic has to admit, that there have been some exciting developments in the drone space as of late. So maybe drones haven't set the agricultural world on fire just yet. Even though I am a commercial drone pilot myself, I have no problem making that admission. Give these companies a couple more years of R&D work, though, and those expensive flying robots just might start covering enough ground in one flight to make service providers pull the trigger. Number 4. Unmanned Tech As longtime friend to Precision Ag professional Jeremy Wilson explained, to me at our inaugural Vision Conference in Phoenix in October, the potential of driverless vehicle technology to completely revolutionize how business is done in this country goes far beyond just the farm gate. Advancements in this field will change the way that we live in ways that many of us have yet to fully fathom. That day Wilson explained to me that, on average he probably spends about one to two hours per day behind the wheel commuting to various appointments and meetings in his job in central Illinois as a technology specialist with Crop IMS, something he deridingly refers to as windshield time. Now, what if, instead of spending that one or two hours per day doing nothing else but staring out my windshield and paying attention to the road, I can turn that responsibility over to the computer and have that hour or two to do things that I actually need to get done for our customers or answer emails or even catch up on sleep, so I am more rested and better prepared to serve our customers when I arrive at my destination. Think about how much more we, as service providers, could get done if technology can remove that time we have to spend behind the wheel every day. Now that is truly revolutionary. Number 3. Precision Planting Smart Firmer Sensor One thing many in Precision Ag have struggled with for years, is how to collect data on what's happening in the seed trench. One method many have used in years past was simply grabbing a flashlight and notepad, getting down on one's hands and knees, and taking visual observation notes on how moist the seed trench appeared, or how much soil organic matter one could sense with the human eye. An imperfect process that would surely suffer from subjective interpretation, i.e. human error, of current conditions. For service providers, one must consider the potential to drive new revenues by marketing seed trench sensing, as an add-on to existing precision programs. Not only does it clearly demonstrate to growers a higher understanding of soil seed interaction dynamics, it also shows customers your precision programs embrace a service-focused leadership role by implementing the latest cutting-edge data capturing technologies. It's at least worth a thought, that's all we're saying. Number 2. New Leader NL5000 G5 Although it debuted at the massive 2017 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, back in February, my first look at the new leader NL5000 G5 dry nutrient applicator, with swath width control, jointly developed with Ag Leader, came a couple weeks later in San Antonio, Texas, at the 2017 Commodity Classic. By that time, many of our trusted advisors within the industry had already called or emailed to make sure we understood just how impactful this newest new leader innovation had the potential to be. Basically speaking, the G5 allows applicators to achieve pinpoint application accuracy with a spinner spreader, and it also includes a sustainability aspect in that it helps keep dry dispersible fertilizer granules from being placed off target, specifically in end rows and edge of field areas, where only one side of the spinner needs to be running. Number 1. Robotics. There's no shortage of speculation on how robotics could positively impact the production of food, 
in particular high-value crops that require intensive labor to care for and harvest. Today, with labor availability becoming a bigger concern within the commercial tree fruit industry, the interest in robotics is driving a fresh wave of interest and urgency into robotics development, says Christina Herrick, editor of American Fruit Grower magazine. What do you think of our video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go for future updates.